to all it is my great pleasure to extend a warm welcome to all the dignitaries on the dais and off the dais today is something special and unique this is the eighth graduation ceremony of dmi st ug a warm welcome to all the participants who have gathered here first and foremost i would like to thank god the almighty for his blessings and guidance on this auspicious occasion i am immensely pleased to welcome mr derek lungu acting permanent secretary ministry of higher education who represents honorable professor gandu luvo mb minister for higher education zambia as the guest of honor for this eighth graduation ceremony honorable professor gandu luvo mb is an excellent personality with exemplary leadership qualities we take this opportunity to acknowledge the assistance provided by the ministry of education in our academic activities her contribution to the field of higher education in zambia is highly remarkable i extend a warm welcome to our guest of honor welcome sir i extend a warm welcome to dr t x a anand president of the university council dmi group of institutions in africa who represents very reverend father dr j e arul raj chancellor of dmi st eugen university zambia i extend a warm welcome to you sir i am delighted to welcome mr s k verma first secretary indian high commission who represents his excellency shri n j gangde high commissioner of india welcome you sir we wish to welcome mr barnabas musapelo the district commissioner of chibombo welcome you sir we have immense pleasure in extending a hearty we are pleased to welcome dr ignesia c herman director for education to this graduation ceremony we welcome you sir i welcome dr r kavita the registrar dmi st eugen university for this august gathering welcome madam for this event we welcome vice chancellor deputy vice chancellor registrar dean vice principals of academic and administration head of the departments staff members teaching and non teaching and all our students you are the heroes of this day my dear graduates you are coming forward to build our nation you have made all of us proud today keep your head high thoughts still higher but your hands to the reality of the earth welcome my dear graduates with pleasure we take this opportunity to welcome 
all the sisters of DMI and the fathers of MMI. We are pleased to welcome government officials, vice chancellors from other universities, principals of other colleges, school heads, the press, media, police band, our respected guests, fathers, brothers, sisters from various institutions and parishes, and my dear friends to this graduation ceremony. Respected and beloved parents, indeed, we have to thank you for having entrusted with us your children to our care. We are giving them back today, today, as full-fledged graduates. Visit again. We extend your welcome to all of you. All protocols being observed, we recognize and acknowledge all your presence and welcome everyone for this historical event. Welcome all. Thank you. Respected Mr. Derek Lungu, Acting Permanent Secretary, who represent Honorable Professor Honlu, MP Minister of Higher Education, Dr. TXA Anand, President of University Council, who represent the Chancellor of DMI St. Eugene University, Very Reverend Father Dr. J.E. Arul Raj, Mr. Sanjay Kumar Verma, First Secretary of Indian High Commission, who represent His Excellency, Sri N.J. Gangait, High Commissioner of India. Mr. Barnabas Musbolo, District Commissioner of Chipambo District. Members of the Trust of DMI. Members of the University Council. Members of Senate. Members of staff. Graduates. Students. My dear parents. Distinguished guests. Ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to all. Your Honor, I am delighted to present <laughs> the daughter of Mary Immaculate was founded by Reverend Father Dr. J. E. Arul Raj in the year 1984 to render service to the most drowned drone and the poor. DMI has undertaken several charity and development activities doing yeoman service in villages and remote areas. For the past years, DMI focused its dynamic efforts in building non-profit educational institution that not only supports innumerable poor rural students, but also provides high quality of standards of education. DMI proudly serves more than 500 women, more than 10,000 students at college level, more than 8,000 students at school level, and more than 35,000 children under its care. Today, more than 20,000 students benefit globally. Indeed, DMI is a religious organization rendering service to the people of all religion and tribes. DMI found many reputed educational institutions in India, which include engineering, arts and science, education college, and schools having international standards. Living in a knowledge era where global boundaries have faded, our chancellor landed in Tanzania, East Africa in 2003. DMI Women's World is another citadel of DMI, working in the village of Africa, empowering women, assisting to organize self-help groups, training them in special skills in production, marketing, and administration, and enable them to generate revenue through vocational activities such as handicraft, tailoring, entrepreneur skills, merchandising, and so on. Now DMI is growing in different spheres. Your Honor, I am delighted to inform you that 
DMIS and Eugene University is registered with Higher Educational Authority and the registration covers the two campuses namely DMIS and Eugene University Great North Road Campus Chipambo, DMIS and Eugene University Chipata Campus. After the registration, the programs were submitted to Higher Education Authority for the aggregation process. As a result, the peer team aggregated the programs in the School of ICT, Computer Science, Management Studies, Social Work, Education, and IVDL programs. Presently, 1,176 students are pursuing their higher education studies at our university. And 73 teaching staff and 37 supporting staff are working in the university. Your Honor, we are happy to inform that the university is planning to enter in the field of medical and allied courses. Your Honor, the university offers diploma, bachelor, master, and PhD degree programs in information and communication technology, computer science, management studies, commerce, social work, education in science and arts, and food and nutrition. Your Honor, the university is one in the whole of Zambia to offer distance education in virtual mode of establishment of institution of virtual and distance learning from the year 2014. This fast track teacher education program has received astonishing response from the teachers of Zambia. This academic year 2018, 1,067 candidates have enrolled for their bachelor degree and master degree. There are 147 staff members working in IVDL, of which 170 are academic staff, three technical staff, and 27 supportive staff. There are 14 well-equipped studios with latest computers and advanced video and audio system, data centers with servers established. All the 10 provincial centers are connected with Samtel fiber, optic connectivity, along with MPLS connection. DMS and Eugene University is functioning in 10 IVDL provincial centers, namely Chipata, Kaveh, Kasama, Kidwe, Livingstone, Lusaka, Mansa, Mungu, Mipika, and Solvesi. Around 3,122 in service te teacher candidates and 78 pre service candidates are doing their bachelor and master degree programs through IVDL centers. Your Honor, the university offers various scholarships of Mother Virgin single orphan students, single orphan girl students, double orphan students, and double orphan girl students. 50% scholarship in tuition fees is given for the first and second top girl students from all the secondary school in Zambia to encourage education of girls and to promote women empowerment. Further, I would like to say that scholarship of 25% in tuition fees is given to a deserving boy or girl from grade 12 recommended by the Paris priest throughout Zambia. As a result, 302 students are benefited in two campuses through this scholarship. Total amount of scholarship is 1,725,500 kocha for this academic year. Your Honor, totally, we proudly present a total of 207 graduates for their bachelor and master degrees. My dear graduates, graduation marks a very important chapter in your life where you move from one chapter to another. As you move into the new chapter of life, always remember that self-discipline is a positive character to shape your destiny and to achieve your goals. It leads to self-confidence and self-esteem which gives you ultimate sense of worth. The nation of Zambia and the world at last is looking for graduates that will make a difference and contribute the economic and social development of the country. I strongly believe that you are the well prepared to take on this challenge as the university has molded you 
with necessary practical and theoretical skills. Knowledge and attitude to face these challenges and make a difference to your families, community, and the nation as a whole. Finally, remember that each problem has hidden in an empty, so powerful that it literally dwarfs the problem. The great success stories were created by people who recognized a problem and turned it into an opportunity. So, nothing can stop you now. You have a ticket to make your dreams come true and to make a lasting impact on the lives of many. My advice is that you all to acquire the best in life. May the Almighty God bless you and the nation. Thank you. Mr. Derek Lungu, Acting Permanent Secretary, who represents Honorable Minister of Higher Education. Dr. Anand, President of the University Council, who represents very reverend Father Dr. J. Arul Rai, the Chancellor of BMI, St. Eugene University. Reverend Father Robbie Andolvo, Director of Special Department, who represents His Grace most Reverend Dr. Alik Banda, Archbishop of Lusaka, Mr. Barnabas Musofelo, Chibombo, District Commissioner, members of the Trust of BMI, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, members of the University Council, members of the Senate, members of the staff, graduate, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to all of you. Dear Chancellor, I am, it is my pleasure to attend the 8th graduation ceremony of the esteemed BMI St. Eugene University. On behalf of Indian High Commission, we extend our hearty greetings to the university for rendering the noble service in this friendly country. Let me begin by assuring you that the Indian High Commission is always there to support and encourage the university in its dedicated efforts at spreading education. The relations between India and Zambia have traditionally been very cordial with our long-standing diplomatic relationship. Our countries share identical views on several regional, international and multilateral issues. We have been supporting each other in various areas, including economy, trade, investments, etc. In the same spirit, Indian government has been supporting the educational policies of the friendly country of Zambia through grants and scholarships. To promote exchange of higher learning experience, the High Commission has been facilitating exchange of students between the two countries. And I must note that BMI students have not been an exception with a specific GILT Global Institution, institution of Learning and Training Gram, program dedicated to this purpose. Dear graduates, I take this opportunity to congratulate you on your successful completion of studies at this prestigious university, thereby opening your way to entering into the world as professionals. I take this, as you all know, sorry, as you all know, the rapid development of information and communications technology has made the world smaller and closer. The quest for knowledge and wisdom is a never ending process now. I am sure that DMI University has trained and shaped you well in various fields such as management, science and technology, social work, finance and applied research. It is now your responsibility 
to use whatever knowledge you have acquired in this university for betterment of the society and the nation. You should set an example for those around you through your hard work and a disciplinary way of life which you have acquired there. Since learning is an endless process, I would like to encourage you to continue attaining knowledge and enriching your skills in various fields. I must mention here that India offers many institutions with modern facilities and world-class amenities and facilities covering a wide range of disciplines at a reasonable cost to, which offers you an opportunity for continuing your learning process at post-graduation level. I encourage all of you to avail these opportunities while contributing your service to your university as its alumni. I assure you that the Indian High Commission is always there to guide and support you in this direction. Thank you. May the Almighty bless you and this prospering nation. Thank you very much. Before I proceed with my speech, allow me to recognize the presence of the following. Mr. Derek Lungu, Acting Permanent Secretary, Minister of Higher Education, Republic of Zambia. Very Reverend Father Dr. J.E. Auru Raj, the Chancellor of DMI, St. Eugene University. Dr. T.X.A. Arneth, President of the University Council. Mr. Sayal Kumar Vema, First Secretary of India High Commission. Mr. Barnabas Musopero, District Commissioner of Chwombo. Dr. Ara Kavitha, Registrar DMI, St. Eugene University. Members of the Council, members of the Senate, fathers of MMI. Sisters of DMI, staff members, dear parents, graduates. At the outset, I thank the Almighty God and all for giving me this opportunity to join this colorful and memorable eighth graduation ceremony of DMI St. Eugene University, Great North Road, Zambia. Indeed, this ceremony gains its importance because it is an assemblage of academicians, students, parents, teachers, the stakeholders, and government representatives. More than that, such gatherings serve as eye-opener to promote more on higher education, which brings light from darkness removing ignorance. The Chancellor, I am proud of you because you have justified your role in the arena of higher education in Zambia. I mean that apart from other African countries, you have established your campuses in Great North Road, Chiwombo, and Chipata, so that the students from this country have also got a wonderful opportunity to acquire quality education from you, the knowledge providers. Moreover, compliments are to the Chancellor and his team for bringing the Institute of Virtual and Distance Learning in all the 10 provinces, which in turn will transform our youth with scientific thinking, 
with skills and technologies to transform their peers and the society. Advancement in education can significantly improve through advancement in information and communication technologies. In an increasingly competitive globe, knowledge and educated people are the resources for development. I am of the strong opinion that education alone can remove ignorance, poverty, social and gender imbalance. Every year, eight million people die because they are simply poor. More than 800 million people go hungry every day. The gross domestic product of 48 poorest nations in the world is less than the wealth of world's three richest nations. 30,000 children globally die every day because of hunger. Six million children die every day, every year before their fifth birthday due to malnutrition. This alarming data is a warning bell to remove this quagmire, not only in this nation, but globally. This alarming, we all have to be the agencies to save and change this society from further indiscrimination and bring forward human dignity for all. Besides, presence of schools and colleges in Zambia, we face the problem of poverty, illiteracy, ignorance, and underdevelopment. More haunting is the gender disparity. Most of our girls do not attend schools, or they are dropouts in their pre-school level. Hence, the system of our education requires to meet the challenges of addressing the problems of quality and equity with justice to all. In the way to change and achieve social justice, we need a paradigm shift. We must shift from the past and establish a balance between learning and skills so that when they complete their education, they can get a confidence to become young entrepreneurs. Again, getting employ employment after education is a big challenge. The government anywhere in the universe cannot provide jobs to all. Hence, learning with gaining skills is much needed. There must be a balance between learning, knowledge, and information. Information is necessary for learning. When there is a dynamic interaction between information and learning, knowledge flows. It is my view that by creating training and learning processes related to development activities of students, it is possible to develop a better higher education system that benefits all. In this information age, the link between education and development should feel, fulfill the needs requirements and aspirations of the nation. The need of the hour is the transformation of academic excellence in students with employable skills. To you, my dear graduates, I bless you all for a happy and prosperous future. I am very happy of you getting your degree, your degrees from this reputed university which is also another hallmark for your quality of education because employers prefer institutions that have academic equality. In the context of global, globaliz globalization and liberalization, you should search for job opportunities and only, not only locally, but also globally. Always be innovative, creative, and entrepreneurial. Again, I bless and congratulate you all who have assembled for this graduation. May the Lord bless you and our nation, Zambia. Thank you.
president of the University Council, who represents the Chancellor of GMI St. Eugene University, Very Reverend Father Dr. J.D. Arugai, to deliver a graduation address. Good morning, everyone. Mr. Derek Lungu, Acting Permanent Secretary, who represents Honorable Professor Kandulu, Minister for Higher Education. Reverend Father Robby Dolo, Director for Social Works, who represents His Grace, Reverend Dr. Alik Banda, Archbishop of Lusaka. Mr. Sanjay Verma, First Secretary, Indian High Commission. Mr. Barnabas, Chibambo District Commissioner, members of the Trust of DMI, the Acting Vice Chancellor, members of the University Council, Senate, staff, invited guests, my dear graduates, parents, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Let us give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for all mankind. I am representing the Honorable Chancellor, Reverend Father Dr. J.E. Oral Raj, who couldn't make it today as he has to travel to Rome for a meeting. I am much delighted to extend my warm greetings to every one of you present here on this historic occasion of the eighth graduation ceremony of DMA St. Eugene University. Your honor, your presence and representation in this ceremony made us extremely grateful. Always we are indebted to your moral support, kind cooperation, and right guidance, what we received from Honorable Professor Kandul Lu, MD, Minister for Higher Education, in the growth of DMA St. Eugene University. Today we proudly present a total of 207 graduates, 196 in bachelor level and 11 in master level for their bachelor and master degrees. Till date, DMA St. Eugene University has graduated more than 1,400 professionals. It is a great privilege to congratulate all the graduates for their hard work, dedication, and tireless effort to succeed in their dreams. I am pro so proud of you, my dear graduates. You did a great work. Today, your dreams are achieved. You have worked so hard for all that you have achieved. Keep up the good work. You have a very bright future ahead of you. Your Honor, the university appreciates and acknowledges the great selfless sacrifice of the parents, guardians, members of staff, and the graduate themselves. The university extends its sincere gratitude to the regulatory authorities, Ministry of Higher Education, Ministry of General Education, Higher Education Authority, Health Professional Council of Zambia, Teaching Council of Zambia, for their constant support and guidance to the university for enhancing the quality of education and in the growth of the university. Your Honor, gratitude is the inward feeling of kindness received. Thankfulness is a natural impulse to express that feeling. Thanksgiving is the following of that impulse. Here on behalf of our chancellor and members of the university, I wish to thank His Excellency Edgar Chagualungu, President of Republic of Zambia, for his amicable support for us in all spheres of the work. We are witnessing a lot of development in the country. It is very much visible wherever you go, which part of Zambia you go, we can see the development. 
this is giving us a lot of hope and encouragement for investing more in education and being a part of development in Zambia. His actions gives us a lot of hope that our students will be finding a good job and many will be having an opportunity to be an entrepreneur. It's a time we should thank the government for all the support what we receive in the university. On behalf of the Chancellor, I wish to thank the Archbishop of Lusaka for his support and guidance. My dear graduates, I will say always remember your parents and sponsors who make it this day possible for you. The university taught you education with practical wisdom. Bring up the nation to a very higher level. Live with self-respect and self-discipline. Smart work, time management, teamwork, these are the ingredients for growth. Continuous learning will keep you build a good career. So don't stop with your bachelor's or master's. Continue to study more and more. Don't worry about being successful in life. Do the work, success will automatically follow you. Knowledge without action is meaningless. So your learned skills from the university will be applied to enhance your life and the country's growth. The country wants you to participate in its growth, never give up on the dream just because of the time or hurdles. Continue to work, the success is yours. You will accomplish the dream. No matter what the future holds, it is a fact that all of you will contribute and equally responsible for the development of this nation. My dear graduates and to alumni, I carry the message from the Chancellor. Our Chancellor has kept a fund of 1 million kocha for incubation of business and projects by students of DMI St. Eugene University. If you have a good idea, come to us, discuss with us. We will develop the same as your partners. I hope you understand. If you have a good idea of starting a business, come meet your department, come with a proposal. We will fund you to develop the business. This is the message from the Chancellor on this day. You can start the project individually or in collaboration with two or three other students. We are ready to handhold you as a partner so that you grow to certain level. The key areas of focus of the Chancellor are one is agriculture, then in mining, trading, ICT, and implement of government projects. There are many projects, whether it is in ICT, or in software development, or in social work, where government is looking for partners to implement. Bit for the same, DMA St. Eugene University will stand with you to see that you become an entrepreneur. Our, the motto of our chancellor is to make you an employer than an employee. So be a creator of job than a job seeker. Do you understand? So make use of this opportunity. We are ready to invest on you to see that you create job for others. I wish success in all your endeavors and may Almighty God will be with you in all your deeds to guide you in the great growth. Congratulations. I thank the parents. I thank the sponsors.
and my message to the guest of honor. He is the head of HR in the Ministry of Education. This is a good pool of staff members, whether it is your HR or education or management. When you come across any vacancy or any opening, think of DMA St. Eugene the first. Give them the first privilege. And I assure you, it is not only hard work, they are also highly disciplined. So you will get a pool of the new crop of staff who will be disciplined, hardworking, and smart working. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Professor Kanluo, Minister of uh, Higher Education, <clears throat> may I take this opportunity to recognize the Chancellor of DMI St. Eugene University, very re Reverend Father, Father Dr. J. E. R. Raj, His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Alec Banda, Archbishop of Lusaka, his Excellency Sherry N. J. Gate, High Commissioner for India, the President for the University, of, the University Council, the Managing Trustee of DFT, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, members of the University Council, members of Senate, government officials present, members of staff, graduates, distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. It is my great honor and privilege on behalf of Professor Nkandluo to be the guest of honor at the eighth graduation ceremony of DMI St. Eugene University. To the Chancellor, now it is the right time and an opportunity to express our sincere gratitude to you for establishing DMI St. Eugene University and performing the remarkable service to the growth of the youth and the nation through the two campuses. One, GMI St. Eugene University Campus College, Chibombo, and two, GMI St. Eugene University Campus College, Chipata. In addition, GMI has an institute of virtual and distance learning, and it has 10 provincial centers, which cater teachers' education and other programs. This education creates a path to everyone to attain the knowledge and skills. The Chancellor, we appreciate and acknowledge your tireless work, sacrifice, concentration, and high level of commitment for the growth of DMI in Africa. In DMI in Africa, countries like Tanzania, Malawi, South Sudan, Ethiopia, Central African Republic. It strives hard to change the status and economic well-being of the people in Africa through its surge of signifying services. 
to, new, to you now graduates. Today marks an important day in your lives, yet it is the beginning of a journey. Pele quotes that success is no accident, it is hard work. Perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do it. Now you are also assembled here for celebrating this day, not by an accident where the sacrifice of your parents, teachers, and well-being wishes time and hard work. The change in your attitudes should begin at an individual level. To be successful, a patient should have a positive outlook about life. The university taught you the positive outlook and good attitude practically. Utilize your wisdom and the learned educational skills for the personal and the nation's growth. The youth will form the bulk of skilled workforce to support and transition of the country economic to economic prosperity by 2030. Zambia's vision 2030 aims to transform Zambia into a prosperous middle income nation by 2030 and create a new Zambia which is strong and dynamic middle income industrial nation that provides opportunity for improving the well-being of all embodying values of social economic justice. In order to attend the vision 2030, you have to tour and more to make this nation to stand proudly. A country which has most of its population as a young people is at an advantage because it has a latent labor force any nation needs to foster development. The education system of every country in the world focuses on all around development of learners. It aims at churning out individuals who should contribute positively towards social economic development. All the needs of social, cultural, religious, social, and psychological are fulfilled by education. It is important that the education system is clear on the type of civilization that is desired for society to be progressive, to be full of new ideas, technological innovation, and positive change with people living at peace with each other. DMI St. Eugene University modeled you with good education system of innovative technology. You, the new ideas should be used for the development of the country. The personnel competences of passion, commitment, transit open mind to learn that you learn from here will be important throughout your lives. Nature them it will be even more important that you have learned from your studies. By completing a course at DMI St. Jude University, you should not be a job seeker, but you should be a job creator. Entrepreneurs are leaders who is willing to take risk and exercise initiative, taking advantage of market opportunities by planning, organizing, and deploying resources, often by innovating to create new or existing products or services. A successful entrepreneur can't be afraid of failure or setbacks. An initial setback can be a great opportunity to take a new and more promising approach to any problem to come back stronger than ever. Graduates, the journey of life brings both challenges and changes. May you carry out spirit to snatch a chance and beat the challenges. Be an architect of the future in the emerging trends. Congratulations on your graduation. May you live a proud life. And I'll take this advantage to echo the words which the president just gave me an assignment to say, of course, we take advantage of this very good graduates who are coming through. Any opportunity which arise, we we'll definitely take that. Thank you very much. May all May the God bless you and the nation at all. Thank you. Let the graduate candidates be now presented.
I present unto you the candidates who have been certified by the jury appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the bachelor and master's degree in arts, science, education, and engineering from the DMI St. Eugene University, Zambia. Bachelor of Engineering in Computer Science. Kachenje Edward C. Machaya Terry C. Maria Simonga. Mono Chitoshi M. Murenga Lumbuka. Mawa Victor. Mwerwa Muna. Mwinga S. Chipo. Nambula Mauluka. Nyundu Katumbi. Peter Makasa. Suwaenyi Masiba, Shirumba Kamanya V, Wamurwange Kanai Steve, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Kachiriko Joseph, Kambalanga Grenda, Murenga Humphrey, Mutukwa Masiriso, Mwawa Natasha, Mwawa Tumero D, Nkandu Paul Mwerwa, Temwani F. Tembo, Lombanya Mana, Sinyiza Simiranji, Tembo Mwanza, Wule Mambe, Chamba Lucia, Mirandire Mwira, Muye Bakaumba, Mayambu Micheo T, Manzima Chunga, Muleya Elizabeth, Mwale Kataya, Tembo Zita, Miriam Piri, Mwerwa Grace, Samsero Chisambwe, Karenga Harrison, Masanyinga Timothy, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Malunga Luke, Simuhandu Kachiza, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science Woodlands, Yere Chimwemwe, Bachelor of Commerce in Finance, Yapanga Shiboa, Sisi Uwepio, Yawa Sekai, Kawete Lisa, Karima Mua, Kawiza Miriam, Kekide Michael, Kadongo Rosalia, Mewe Jeremaya, Monga Siwa Ipati, Kundu Kute Wede, Mwari Moris, Mwanza George, Taonga, Mutonga, 
Kapoka, Mana Kasale Mutinta, Wimba Lungu, Part of Business Administration, Yarwe Kaoma H, Part of Business Administration Woodlands, Kangwa Sen, Linda Ngoma, Shirwa Piku, Janda Mamba, Yazia Tembo, Lungu Mati, Kula Katri, Mukuka Muruba, Vira Nereti, Peji Njebe, Chirukusha Hope, Muntanga Edmund, Mvula Christopher, Piri Memory, Mirupi Stumbeko, Karelo Kevin, Piri Faith, Ruimba Catherine, Bachelor of Social Work in Community Development, Chagawantu Charles, Daka Agatha, Funga Brenda, Muapa Anna, Mwanza Lomanzi and Mari, Mwapi Salai, Mtembwe Agnes, Rudo Kumaringa, Kambala Namaya N, Simbuliana Sanyangu M, Zimba Elizabeth, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Social Work in Medical and Psychiatry, Chirumbu Lesta, Maripenga Wongani K, Mwando Malambo M, Chirimboi Kennedy, Mwango Chibeka, Mwansa Edina, Sama N. Merisa, Mugara Karen, Simbuliana Martha, Bachelor of Social Work in Community Development Woodlands, Sishekano Sanyambe, Dindi Olivia, Kaswaya Namwinga, Mwewa Debora, Nakalonga Twibi, Shupiwe Piri, Bachelor of Arts in Secondary Education with English, Daka Duba, Dewanika Mirambo, Mulenga Rachel, Mwenya Geraldine Tasira, Wakasa Trines, Charwe Rwando, Mbewe Victoria, Nakirasa Mary, Imwene Chuma, Ngosa Pero, Mulundu Anet, Bachelor of Arts in Secondary Education with English, Hanganda Vanessa, Bachelor of Arts in Secondary Education with Geography, Chundu Jonathan, Kabatana Mule, Mulepo Tamborin, Karuichi Edward, Mupaya Vivian, Samsole Wisdom, Piri Wendy, Chirufia Stephen, Chomba Mary, Kapuka Jane, Butemwa Kamfa Maripenga, Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education with Chemistry, Waria Rogers, Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education with Mathematics, Zulu Lewis, Fale Elizabeth, Kalua Evans, Ngoma Fungai M, Siruimba Sekani, Master of Business Administration, Astrida Chombe Wirombe, Banda Margaret, Charite Muchanga, Chishimba Mpundu, Luambo Ndunda, Mambo Mary G, Mona Kropas, Ndovu Temwani, Robert Chitembwe Sikanzwe. By, by virtue of the authority vested in me uh, as the president of the council, which is delegated to me by the chancellor of DMS Indian University, I admit you to the several bachelor and master degrees for which you have been declared qualified in this university. And in token thereof, you have been presented with these bachelor and master degrees, and I authorize you to wear the robes ordained as the insignia of your bachelor and master degrees. You can wear the caps now.
Ready? Okay. We shall. We shall. In thought. In thought. Word and deed. Word and deed. Ever endeavor. Ever endeavor. To be scrupulously honest. To be scrupulously honest. In the discharge of our duties. In the discharge of our duties. In our profession. In our profession. And for the honor of our country. And for the honor of our country. We shall. We shall. Uphold and advance. Uphold and advance. Social order. Social order. And the well-being. Christian idea of our country. The Christian idea of our country. We shall, we shall, we shall in our capacity, in our capacity, as learned citizens, as learned citizens, will try to protect, we we'll try to protect our mother earth, our mother earth, and work towards, and work towards the protection of, the protection of the earth, the earth against global warming. Against global warming, deforestation, deforestation, discrediting natural resources, discrediting natural resources. We'll try to protect. We will try to protect and to leave this world and to leave this world as a habitable place, a habitable place for our future generations. For our future generations. <laughs> Come one by one and receive the Bachelor and Master Degree Awards from the Chancellor. Mulwange, can I still? Degree thirty five, twenty fourteen to twenty eighteen, Bachelor of Engineering in Computer Science. Katian J. Edward G. Chichaya Terry T. Malia Simonga. Mono Chitoshi M. Mulenga Lumbuka. Mwaba Victor. Mwewa
Minister, Dr. Bishop Alec Banda, the representative of His Excellency Sri NJ Gante, High Commission of India, management and staff of DMI St. Eugene University, fellow graduates, parents, guardians, relations, and friends, press and media present, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. Preliminary, I have the singular honor and privilege to express uttermost gratitude on behalf of all the students to our almighty God for blessing us with uh, life and also good health today. Secondly, I thank the guest of honor and also the special invitees for sparing their time aside their busy schedules to come and grace us at this year's graduation ceremony. Thirdly, appreciations go to the chancellor very Reverend Father Dr. J. E. Aruraj and the entire management and staff of DMI St. Eugene University for this auspicious and successful eighth graduation ceremony held here at the new government complex. Being at DMI as students, being at DMI as students has helped us acquire skills, competencies, values that we are going to carry with us to the corporate world. At this juncture, I congratulate my fellow graduates for achieving this milestone and accomplishment. For we all know that four and five years is a very long period of time. It has not been easy, but here we are celebrating. Congratulations once again. Last but not the least, utmost gratitude is expressed to our parents and guardians for the love, care, and immense financial support they've put in to see us to this particular day. God bless you. Thank you. Dissolve the assembly of the eighth graduation of the DMA St. University, Zambia.
urge the gathering to be instanted till the dignitaries leave the ceremonial hall. Just a short announcement or a reminder, dear graduates and parents and guests, 